Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you a technique that I came up with to laminate a double-sided glossy composite. So stick with me. Alright, welcome back. So this is a video I started about eight months ago and I'm finally now getting it all pieced together to uh, show you guys. So let's get in and we'll see how it's done. Okay, we're gonna start with two pieces of glass equally sized and we are gonna get these out of the way to start. Uh, we're gonna build up a ply stack with our uh, fibers. So we're gonna put two layers of carbon fiber Then we're going to add one layer of the 2 millimeter Soric core. And then two more layers of the carbon fiber. Then we'll grab one of the glass pieces. I went ahead and waxed this, buffed it. We'll place that face down on our stack. And we'll use our roller cutter to trim it right to the glass. You wanna have a nice, neat cut here. All the fibers cut to the same uh, size. Okay, so the next step is to slide the glass up to have about a half inch overhang on the glass. All right, so now that I got this top edge trimmed and I've slide, slid my glass up about a half inch, I'm gonna trim this lower edge right to the glass. It's gonna go this way. So now I'm going to slide this down, have about a quarter inch of uh, glass overhang on each side. And now I want to trim these sides right to the glass size. So I'm going to spin around, chop this other side. All right, so I've trimmed both edges right to the size of the glass. I've got a quarter inch of uh, glass overhang, both sides, and you want to try to not have any fibers hanging over the edge if you can. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to scoot this out of the way, and I'm going to put a little space or a little riser here. Now I'm going to put my board over right on top. So now when I remove this, I can stick my other glass right on top and match it up. All right, so I'm going to try to get all these loose fibers. That one was a little much, but off of the edge here. Or get them tucked in. And we'll do the same on the other side.
All right, so the next step now is to apply the bagging tape along the edge this way to kind of seal off. And you want to have no fibers crossing your, your tape. So that's kind of the tricky part. So we're just going to apply this just like this. So by putting your tape this way, you're not um, worried about if the glass will compress because the, the tape's not in the way. And we can kind of roll the tape up over the edge. All right, so the next step we're gonna take and put some of this tape, leaving a little gap for where our inlet hose will go. We'll do the same this way. All right, so we're leaving a little gap here where we can tape our hose. And the gap will be on, on both sides. Should have a completely sealed chamber at the correct height of your ply stack. All right, so we're going to put our bagging tape on our inlet hose just as we would um, the regular bagging uh, technique. So it won't. It'll be a little bit closer to the end here. So we'll do the same on the other side. And you want to kind of roll it over the edge. All right. All right, so now that we got our resin um, degassed, we're all set up. We're gonna start pulling a vac on this. So I went ahead and pulled the tape off. All right, well thanks for joining me for another video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.